Praise the Lord. You know, when the introduction comes like that, you think the man is as tall as the ceiling. It is for you. I said it is for you. That same anointing will pass on to you. That same authority passed on to you. And I pray that everything you have heard about me, God, will reproduce in your life. It can happen. It will happen. It must happen. You cannot come to the world like this and come to the crusade like this and then just go back. It's so, so Christian. It's so, so person. I'm managing life, tolerating life. Uh -uh. The world will know that you came to this world. And when you leave, you will leave traces of power, of progress, of prosperity. Leave it behind for the rest of the people in Jesus' name. I wish I could come to you personally, but you know this is a crowd, and I have to stay here to preach, but I wish I could come to you personally and take your hand and say, let's go. You are going on to victory in Jesus' name. Let's start our prayer. Father, we thank you tonight and we bless your name for what you've done, for what you are going to do today, what you will continue to do. Lord, our hearts are open. Mind, soul, spirit, heart, we open everything to you. Take the hand of everyone and lead us to a lifetime of dominion. I pray, Lord, you wipe all tears away. Take all sorrow away. And I pray that you will do something definite, unforgettable in every life in Jesus' name. We know you have answered. We will see that answer in every life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can see them tonight. We are coming to a message, special message. God's highway for a lifetime of dominion. Let me explain to you. Dominion is there because God is there. Dominion is available because God is ready. Dominion is for you. Present dominion, perpetual dominion, perfect dominion, a lifetime of dominion. Picture it. It's over there. And you are over here. And we need to make a road between you and that dominion. I'll show you in the word of God. And then you can walk uprightly and get to that lifetime of dominion. You understand in our country, you understand in our state that when the produce is in the farm, provision is in the farm to feed the state and to feed the nation. But if there's no road, we cannot get that produce from the farm and get to the people. And the people cannot move on and get to the produce. The thing is there, but there's no road to take us there. That's why you find uh, some governors and our own governor here in Ogun State. Constructing roads road so that the highway will be there to take us and to take the produce to the place it ought to be. And God has done that. Dominion. Help me shout dominion. dominion. A lifetime of dominion. And then the highway, the way of the Lord that he constructs for you to take step 
after step on the road, on the highway that the Lord himself has made so that you will not miss that dominion in Jesus' name. I'm reading to you from Isaiah chapter 35. And we're reading from verse 4. It says in verse 4, Say to them that of a fearful heart, if you are there, you are afraid. If you are there, you are fretful. If you are there, you are anxious. If you are there, you are worried. And you say, how can I get to that dominion? Full and free and for a lifetime. How can I get there? The Lord sent me to tell you that tonight is your appointed time. Yeah. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Your God, the Creator, your God. The Redeemer, your God, the mighty one, the, your God, the God that cannot fail. It says, your God will come. Tonight, the power of God will come. The solution to your problem will come. Tonight, the promises of God will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Are you there? You are the reason for the meeting tonight. Your God will come. He will come and save you. Look at verse 5. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. The ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. And then in verse 6, it tells us, Then shall the lame man leap as an heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing. For in the wilderness shall waters break out, and streams in the desert. Look at verse 7. Then it tells us, And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water in the habitation of dragons where each lay shall grass shall be grass with reeds and rushes and then in verse 8 it says and an highway shall be there an highway made by God and an highway shall be there and highway established by Christ. And an highway shall be there. And highway that is open for you. And open for me. And open for everyone. And those who walk on that highway. They get to that dominion. I get to that dominion. And you get to that dominion tonight. In Jesus name. It says. And it shall be called. The way of holiness of course you understand it's a holy god in a holy heaven surrounded by holy angels and then the men who have left this world and they have gone holy men and women the streets holy street everything about it there's no defilement there's no sin there's no corruption there holy and because of that the highway and the past that the almighty God, the holy God of the holy heaven, the highway that he makes shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the way fearing men, though fools shall not err therein. You will not miss that way. I said you will not miss that way. And then he tells us in verse 9, it says in verse 9, No lion shall be there, nor any ravenous beast shall go up thereon. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed of the Lord shall walk there. That's why the Lord is going to get to you tonight. It will save you. It will redeem you. It will forgive you. It will establish you. Because the redeemed of the Lord shall walk 
therein and then in verse 10 it says and the ransomed and the saved and the forgiven and the redeemed and the converted the ransomed of the lord shall return and come to zion with songs and everlasting joy 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 happiness gladness the lord will erase everything that had brought sorrow in your heart suffering in your life sickness in your life and then it says you come to zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads they shall obtain joy and gladness who are they they shall obtain that joy and gladness as you link up with christ tonight the source of all joy and the source of all gladness and the source of all happiness as you link up to christ tonight it will fill you with joy and gladness and sorrow and sign shall flee away and sorrow and suffering shall flee away I was waiting for a bell, but I amen. Yeah. And sorrow and suffering shall flee away. Yeah. And then your life will be a happy life. Yeah. Your family, a happy family. Yeah. And then your life and your life and your, and your lifestyle, everything will bring the joy and the gladness of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. Yeah. But you know, but you know, there's an highway. And a highway is constructed that people will take that highway. No matter how good the way is, the road is, expressway. No matter how good an expressway is, if you don't get on that expressway and you have a destination at the end of that expressway, you will remain where you have always been. But it is when you make up your mind, you decide. Look at the expressway that the Lord has made. And I get up by decision. And then I move on. Determination. And I keep on moving. Diligence. And I don't allow anything to stop me in the way. By the grace of God, you will get there. Tonight, God's highway. Not man's highway. God's highway for a lifetime of dominion we're dividing the message to three parts number one god's only way for the helpless and the hopeless god's only way it's not made any other way one way only way god's only way for the hopeless and the helpless number two god's open way <clears throat> God has blessed you. God's open way. He opens the way. You know, there are times that a way, an express way, has been made, and then you pull a toll gate and close it up. And they say they are setting a date when that way will be open. And they're still deciding on what. The travelers will pay one after the other, but God's way is already open. Open for you yeah. to come and enter in because it is open. God's open way to healing and health. Are you there tonight? Blind eyes will open. Yeah. The deaf ears will hear and the impossible unthinkable will happen in your life you will carry healing health miracle you'll carry that home tonight in jesus name number three god's ordained way of holiness to heaven god's ordained way of holiness to heaven oh somebody said pastor Leave that holiness beach apart. Tell us about healing. Tell us about prosperity. Tell us about happy family. 
tell us about something on earth and I say my friend you understand healing is good only for the earth prosperity money wealth good only for the earth and if all you get from the Lord is healing 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 yes you get healing but that is for the earth if you don't get what will take you to heaven if you get all the healing for 70 years 80 years a hundred years here and all eternity you do not have what will take you to heaven then the crusade would have been a waste because eternity is longer eternity a hundred years a thousand years a million years a trillion years forever and ever eternity is there that's why we get from the lord we get hope we get help we get harmony we get healing we get health we get wholesomeness wholeness but with all that we still have to have holiness because it is that holiness that will take you to heaven you will get there yeah. you will get there yeah. i don't want to be in a religion that only gives me good things happy things great things here on earth and it does not show me the way to get to heaven i'll be wasting my life in that religious circle now point number three god's ordained way of holiness to heaven i'm going there i said i'm going there and with the highway of the lord given and shown unto us you will get there in jesus name maybe your mansion will be next to my mansion and every day in eternity i'll say i told you i told then you'll say yes you told me and i accepted you are here i am here we'll be there together yeah. we're coming to point number one now god's only way for the hopeless and helpless you know the lord makes the way and he tells us very simple he said this the way what ye therein i'm looking at john chapter 14 and we're looking at verse 6 john chapter 14 verse 6 jesus says unto him i am the way and the truth and the life no man cometh unto the father but by me he told us the absolute truth he told us the unchangeable truth he told us the eternal truth i am the way the way between the sinner and the almighty god to get us reconciled unto god he said i am i am i am the way and if you are going to see life and life eternal your high or you are low you are big or you are small you are educated or you are not educated you are civilized or you are not civilized you know book or you don't know book you've gone to school you have not gone to school you're a father you're a mother you're a child you're a daughter you're a son anyone you are this is the way he said i am the way the truth and the life no man no man in any place no man whatever the name that he has or the society that he has no man cometh unto the father but by me he has only one way jesus and that jesus is presented to you today and also come through that way through jesus christ and you don't take a bypass you don't take another corner jesus is there he stands between man and god and he says come and i shall come i will take you take your hand and take you to the father as you do that tonight you will get to god in this world god will be your father 
God will be your redeemer. And then God will write your name in the book of life in heaven. He'll say, that is mine. That is mine. That is mine. And then on the final day, you will be with God forever and ever, forever and ever in Jesus' name. Now, that point number one is God's only way for the hopeless and helpless. Why do we refer to man as hopeless and helpless? Let me take it a little further. Why do we refer to you, descendant of Adam and Eve? Why do we refer to you as hopeless and helpless? Look at Romans chapter 7. Romans chapter 7, I'm reading from verse 15. For that which I do, I allow not. I'm helpless. I'm hopeless. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. That's man. That's man. He has good intention, but he doesn't have good ability to be able to carry it out. He has the knowledge and he knows the revelation that this is the way to live. He cannot live like that because for that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that I do not. I know the word. I know the expectation. I know the commandment. I know the right way. But I don't have the strength. I don't have the power. I don't have the ability. I am helpless. And because man is helpless, man is Hopeless. Look at verse 16. In verse 16, there it says, If then I do that which I would not, I wouldn't even approve of what I'm doing. A, there are fathers that will tell their children, Don't look at me. Don't do what I do. If you do what I do, look at the result. Don't do what I do. Why do they say that? Because they know. What they are doing is not their intention. What they are doing is not their plan. There is a power above them. The power of depravity in their lives. That they couldn't do what they ought to do. There are mothers that will call their daughters and say, My daughter, I know you know the way I live. You know the way I talk. And you know the places I go. You know the, you know the other people that are into my life apart from your dad. But I want to tell you, my daughter, don't do as I do. Why do they say that? Because they know. They know the right way and the right thing. But they cannot because they are helpless. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, now then, it is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. On the throne of every heart of any man, any woman, sin sits on the throne. Sin controls that life. And sin is the king and the ruler and a tyrant in that person's life that he cannot just do what he wants to do go the way he wants to go it says sin that dwelleth in me look at verse 18 there in verse 18 for i know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing for to will is present with me. I take resolutions. I make up my mind. I said I will not do that. But the power to carry that out, I do not have. I know what it means to be righteous, but I'm not righteous. I know what it means to be upright, but I'm not upright. I know what it means to be incorruptible, but I am not incorruptible. There is corruption. Corruption in the life. Corruption in the action, corruption in life in general. It says, What dwelleth in me? No good thing, but to will is present with me. But 
how to perform that which is good i find not the man has not found the way but tonight that only way jesus christ you will find the way of uprightness and the way of salvation and the way of the gospel and the way of the revelation of God from heaven that will lead you from a life of sin to an experience of salvation it will do that tonight look at verse 19 in verse 19 it says for the good that I would I do not but the evil which I would not the evil that I say to other people teach other people instruct other people that they should not do I find that I do it says for the good that I would I do not but the evil which I would not that I do verse 20 verse 20 tells us now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. That is what Christ, the Savior, the Redeemer, that's what he wants to remove. He wants to remove that weakness of the human nature away from you. He wants to remove that habit of making resolution and making a decision and not able to carry that out because you are hopeless and because you are helpless. But tonight, hope has come. Yeah. Tonight, help has come. Yeah. Or it will get you out of that intricate situation that in your private life you know. In your secret life you know. All alone by yourself you know the hopelessness the helplessness, the powerlessness, but then you come to Christ with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and say, Jesus, I see that in myself. The way to salvation is not there, but now I know, now I know that God has sent you to be the only way the only way to salvation and the only way to dominion and tonight salvation is yours yeah. that's all the amen you have over there yeah. amen God bless you yeah. dominion will be yours yeah. hope has come yeah. help has come yeah. harmony has come yeah. You see, the man who is hopeless, the man who is helpless, he does not have the harmony. The head is different from the heart. There's no harmony. The knowledge is different from the ability. There's no harmony. He knows the right thing. He knows the way to go. But there's no harmony to join both the character and the knowledge together. But then uh, Christ comes to your life tonight. I say Christ comes to your life tonight. Help has come. Hope has come. Harmony has come. All the jig uh, puzzles, the jigsaws that have been, uh, and you try to put that together, and marry everything together and there's no harmony and you don't know how you will put all those pieces together tonight all the pieces of your life scattered here and there that is having this harmony helplessness hopelessness christ comes tonight and in a moment of time everything will come together your life will come together your destiny will come together and then you go through this way who is christ and then everything will be all right in your life everything will be all right in the progress of life that you make everything will be all right in the ability to carry out everything you know and then step by step step by step harmoniously that will be your life everything will come together in jesus name 
Look at Romans chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 8. Romans chapter 10. Reading from verse 8. But what saith it? The word is nigh to you. The word of hope is near you. The word of help is near you. And the word of harmony is near you. The word is near thee. Even in thy mouth and in thine heart. That is the word of faith which will preach. Look at verse 9. In verse 9. That if thou shalt confess, shall profess, shall declare with thy mouth. The Lord Jesus, he is the way. And if you will declare, and if you will confess, and if you will proclaim that Jesus is my Lord. I tried to rule my life. I tried to control my life. I tried to direct myself. But the sin that dwelleth in me did not allow me to have a straight course towards salvation and dominion. But now, if you will come and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, I shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I said, thou shalt be saved. Oh, somebody says, why? That person is saved. Why am I not saved? Because you have not confessed with your mouth that you hand over your life to Jesus Christ, that Jesus is your Lord. You have uh, been satisfied with whatever position you hold in a local church, whatever position you hold in a, in a denomination. You are satisfied with that, but you know that the denomination, the church, the fellowship cannot give you the victory. Sin still dwells in everyone. But as you come and you say, Lord, I make you now my Lord. You are my Savior. As young people are taking him as Savior, you, an older person, you take him as Savior. As the husband is taking him as Savior, the wife is taking him as Savior. As the parents are taking him as Savior, you children, you are taking him as Savior. You confess with your mouth, you proclaim with your mouth, you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved look at verse 10 in verse 10 for what the heart man believeth unto righteousness what the heart man believeth not from the head what not with the mind what the heart the deepest part of you with all your heart all your soul with your whole heart that there's no rival to Jesus in your life is the one and the only one, your Savior and Redeemer. With your heart, you believe unto salvation, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen in your life today. Yeah. Salvation in your life today. Yeah. Redemption in your life today. Yeah. You take God's only way. For the hopeless and the helpless. Look at number two here. We're looking at number two. God's open way. God's open way to healing and health. God's open way to healing and health. God has made the way. And he has opened the way that you will have healing in your body. Okay, I will have healing in my body. I will have health in my body. I will have wholeness in my body. Healing, health, wholeness. Healing, health, wholeness. It's coming to you tonight. Everything that is broken in your life will be repaired tonight from the top of your head your brain all the things there the Lord will reset everything your body everything that is swollen there the Lord will correct everything the pain you have 
in the chest, in the heart, God will repair everything. The kidneys that are not functioning anymore very well, and you have to go to them, they do dialysis, they bring out the blood, purify the blood, get it back. Tonight, healing is coming your way. And then the diabetes, you know, you urinate now, and then 10 minutes again, you run to the restroom, you come back, and 15 minutes again, you run, and you come back, solution has come tonight. And then hepatitis, whatever, the Lord is going to touch you tonight. You, you had that testimony from Lagos, cancer, cancer taking away every form of cancer. You know there are various forms of cancer. Sometimes there's cancer in the in the in the brain, in the head. Sometimes there's cancer on the armpit. Sometimes there's cancer on the brain. Sometimes there's cancer, and it is leukemia in all the blood system. But anywhere that cancer is tonight, the Lord will take it away in Jesus' name. Look at Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35. Chapter 35. I'm reading from verse 4. Isaiah chapter 35. And we're reading from verse 4. It says, Say to them that of a fearful heart, to them that of a fearful heart, hmm, will this sickness kill me from tonight? There's no fear again. Will this, this thing kill so and so and kill so and so for you? As you are here tonight, the Lord has sent the Lord Jesus Christ to perform and perfect your healing. Say to them that of a fearful heart, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. It will take that sickness as his enemy. He'll trash that sickness it'll conquer that uh, that sickness it will crush that sickness tonight in jesus name even god with a recompense and he will come and save you the devil sent his messenger sickness is he killing him and god says no i'm interested in him he's my son she is my daughter remove your hand from there and satan sickness will remove their hands away from your life tonight in jesus name there's somebody there lying down helpless as if what can i do tonight when i mention the name of jesus upon you strength will come power will come healing will come you will get up i said you will get up because he will come and save you it will come and heal you it will come and deliver you it will come and rescue you it will come and renew your body tonight in jesus name look at verse 5 verse 5 then at that time when the lord comes and he comes to save he comes to heal it comes to deliver it comes to set free then at that time the eyes of the blind will be opened tonight those blind eyes will open and then it says and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped all the deadness of the membrane of those inner parts of the ear everything will get a new re in renewal tonight in jesus name how matthew chapter 8 in matthew chapter 8 i'm reading from verse 16 when the evening was come tonight where we are now is this morning or afternoon or evening the evening of your miracle the evening of your healing the evening of your deliverance the evening of joy 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 jubilation in the house in jesus name 
when the evening was come, they brought unto him. Uh huh. That's the way. You have to bring your sick body, your sick mind. You have to bring your diseased body unto him. Come through the way. It's an open way. Open way that is open for our healing, for our health, and for wholesomeness in our lives. They brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word. Tonight, that word is still as powerful. Heaven and earth may pass away, shall pass away, but his word shall not pass away. The word of power still here today. The word for healing still there today. And the word for deliverance still there today. He cast out the spirits with his word and healed all that was sick. How many did he heal? And healed all that was sick. Who are the people inside that all? Tell me. Tell me. There is no incurable disease before the Lord Jesus Christ. All. All. Any sickness, any infirmity, any disease, any demonic power, he healed all that was sick. Look at chapter verse 17. It says in verse 17 uh, that it may be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying uh, himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. How can I explain that to you? Let me explain this way. There's an empty chair maybe beside you or maybe in front of you and then we'll say please uh, carry that chair out of that place and carry it to a place where we will not sit. You're strong enough to carry the chair it's just an ordinary chair look at the chair there and then you carry and then you take it away and you dump it somewhere we cannot see it again if you are powerful enough to carry that chair Christ with all power all power in heaven and on earth is given unto him he says he can carry your sickness he can carry your infirmity it can carry that deformity. And as easy it is for you to carry the chair, so easy, even easier for Christ to carry all your sicknesses away. Himself took our infirmities and bear our sicknesses. Make it personal. Himself took my, my, my infirmities and bear my sicknesses looks like you are strong already you are well already you are healed already come is the open way to our healing and to our health acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 acts 10 verse 38 how god anointed jesus of nazareth special anointing unique anointing irreversible irresistible anointing anywhere he went he went with that anointing and no demon was able to stand before him and no disease was able to stand before him how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power who went about doing good is going about everywhere all those who are connected with this uh, crusade as we're speaking now it will get to you it will get to you and then those who are here look up look up and look at me those who are here let our eyes match is getting to you tonight he went about doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil 
is greater than the devil is mightier than the devil is stronger than the devil whatever the devil has done or is doing in your body he will not play any trick with your body anymore because tonight the lord will heal those who are oppressed of the devil in jesus name for god was with him he was with god he was on earth at that time god was in heaven and god was with him now 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 he's going to be with the heavenly father he's sitting on the right hand of majesty and now he is with god and god is with him sicknesses will have no place in your life look at hebrews hebrews chapter 13 we're looking at verse 8 hebrews 13 verse 8 jesus christ a savior jesus christ our healer jesus christ our deliverer jesus christ our defender jesus christ the open way to health and healing jesus christ our shepherd jesus christ that does not want does not want to see anyone suffer jesus christ the same yesterday today and tell me forever. forever the power does not abate the love does not decrease and the intention to heal and to deliver that intention and that ability does not decrease because jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever it will do it in your life tonight will be your night of healing your night of wellness and your night of having dominion power authority over every sickness in jesus name instantaneously at the mention of the name of jesus that healing will come to you that deliverance will come to you because that's how we did it in days gone by and everyone that came to him everyone he came to immediately instantaneously the same hour the healing came to them and if he has not changed as it was yesterday he is today and he is forever you must do it in your life today we're seeing the only way we're seeing the open way now we come to the ordained way look at point number three here god's ordained way of holiness to heaven look at what we have number one we have hope number two we have help number three we have harmony number four we have healing number five we have health number six we have wholeness and now number seven we also have holiness we're well in the body we're well in the soul we're well in our spirit the threefold man spirit soul and body wholeness will come to you through and through in jesus name look at isaiah chapter 35 we're reading from verse 8 isaiah chapter 35 verse 6 and an highway shall be there a way it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it ah what do i do then i'm unclean i'm defiled i'm a sinner i'm not born again i'm not converted and it says the unclean shall not pass over it i'll explain to you at the gate of that ordained way there is the fountain of the blood of jesus and as you come there and you plunge by faith in that fountain 
of the blood of Jesus all your uncleanness will be washed away and tonight that's what the psalmist said wash me purge me and I shall be whiter than snow he will wash you tonight and all the uncleanness will be washed away all the defilement will be washed away you see I hate myself for the unclean things I do the unclean things I say and the unclean things I get involved with because you hate it you come to the Lord at the gate of the ordained way he will say I know your heart I know your desire leave it in my hand tonight I'll wash you clean he'll wash you clean tonight I said he'll wash you clean tonight and then that uncleanness everything will vanish away it says there but it shall be for those the way fearing men do fools do fools now understand the language understand the word do fools everyone everyone on earth no matter how wise how intelligent is a fool in one area or the other take education for example somebody is uh, you know well well learned in mathematics but is a fool when it comes to biology when it comes to all those uh, all those uh, cells of the body and the functions of is a fool even though he knows maths he does not know that biology take somebody who is an engineer and he can construct any road and all that but as a medical doctor is a fool he does not know how to perform any operation how to dissect this and that no matter how intelligent one is in one area he is a fool take somebody who is educated in earthly knowledge but when it comes to salvation when it comes to redemption when it comes to getting to heaven is a fool he doesn't know he may know philosophy he may know uh, that one and that one but as it concern the life in christ eternal life how do we get there he's a fool somebody who knows a lot of the history of uh, idolatry and he can say that you know this and that and that and he has all that knowledge of idolatry and he can tell the foundation and the time of cultism came to that part and that part and when he talks he talks like authority but when it comes to how man gets saved and man gets eternal life he knows occultism he doesn't know salvation everyone is a fool one way or the other but the way fearing men do fools I didn't know this before I accept I was a fool I didn't know the way of salvation now I come you will not miss your way because tonight anyone and everyone that will come the Lord will accept everyone no matter where you have been no matter what you have done no matter the confusion in your life you will not miss the way of salvation the ordained way of the Lord and when he cleanses your life when he changes your life when he turns your life around he gives you that holiness without which no man shall save the Lord we don't need to prolong it the Lord is here tonight I said the Lord is here tonight and everything we need everything you need the Lord is going to grant unto you just accept just accept I have been a fool I didn't know there are many things you don't know in your life but now tonight I know I know the only way that's Jesus I know the is God's own way that's Jesus I know the ordained way to get to heaven I must go through Jesus and also give your life to Jesus hand over your life to Jesus surrender unreservedly unto Jesus tonight salvation from heaven will come in your soul and then a healing deliverance from every attack and from every disease is going to set you free tonight in Jesus name are you there I said are you there say amen let me hear your own amen it's bowed 
and eyes closed. I rejoice with you tonight. Today is your day. Tonight is your night. All the helplessness in sin, all the hopelessness in sin, the Lord has come to give you hope. He has come to give you help. He has come to forgive your sin. He has come to give you the inner strength and the inner power. And he has come to take all the uncleanness away out of your life tonight. A night of hope. A night of help. A night of harmony in your life. A night of salvation. Wherever you are, this is your night like no other night. Raise up that hand and say, Lord, I was a place. The things I wanted to do, I couldn't do. The life I wanted to live, I couldn't live. But now, you're my help. You're my hope. You're my savior. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand. That's right. That's right. God bless you. God bless you. And God, turn your life around tonight in Jesus' name. If you're raising up your hand, just take that step of faith and stand up. Stand up for Jesus to save you. Stand up for Jesus to forgive you. Stand up for Jesus to cleanse you in the fountain of the cleansing blood. By faith, you confess him. You profess him. You declare him that he is the Lord of your life and the Lord of your soul. You the Lord of your personality. That he will continue to direct you and control you from today. Raise up your hand and stand up. And wherever you are in any congregation, in any country, this is the time. Raise up your hand and stand up and say, Lord, here am I. Be my savior tonight. And let my life turn around for the better. Keep standing. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we well, thank you because you have shown us the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The true way of life into the kingdom of God. And I pray for those who have indicated, raise up their hands, and they're standing up, and they want the salvation, forgiveness, freedom, eternal life. Give it to everyone in Jesus' name. I pray they will not perish. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal everlasting life. I pray Lord all these people have indicated and they have handed over their lives unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Let them have real salvation in Jesus' name. Cancel helplessness away from their lives. Cancel hopelessness away from their lives. Grant them hope, help, harmony, salvation, conversion tonight. Confirm each in every life, Lord. Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Another amen. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They give you a slip to feel. And online, every location, every, every community, every congregation, in every country, do the same like we're doing here. And the Lord bless you abundantly, irreversibly, in Jesus' name. We call on our overseer to help us with this counseling. I'll be coming back because tonight you are going to have healing, health, wellness, wholeness in Jesus' name. Another amen. Counselors, please quickly get to all the those who are standing. Those who have given their life to Christ tonight, please get across to them. Give the form to those of them who can write. And, and after they have written, check, check it up and know that the information is complete and correct. If you are giving your life to, 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 to Christ tonight, 
you have taken a very good decision and you are a very important person in the kingdom of God. Our Father is very happy. Heaven is very happy. The angels are happy. Today is a wonderful day in your life. So where you are standing, just uh, wait for to the counselors. They will meet you where they are. If you are already on television, connect with Christ on television you can see the link on your screen please click on that on that on, on that link and it will take you straight to us here a father in the Lord would like to hear from you he has made arrangement for follow-up so that you'll be able to continue in Christ there's a number you can send the message to. The WhatsApp number is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Take the number again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two. Six three. There will be combat rally for those online. It's going to be on the eighth of May. This May twenty. That's next Sunday, May twenty twenty two, May eight. So you can join online. For those of us here in Alpha location, don't forget. There is connect with Christ physically at the Edwin Hall, that uh, cream hall there, just across the road there. 3 p.m. tomorrow. Make sure you are there. Don't forget what her father has said. Tonight is a special night. Healing will get to you tonight. Miracle for everyone. Uh, I'm sure somebody there will be the first person to testify. Maybe around there. Maybe here. As you hear the final amen, your miracle is right there with you. Counselors, I'm waiting for you. Signal to me when you are true. I hope we are all everywhere there. As soon as you are true, wave your hand to me. I'll be able to see it, and then because the time of miracle is very close now. If you bring any blind person, stand by that person. After the final amen, ask him to look up. He will see the light. He will see the people. And when he says, I can see, I can see, you shout hallelujah and bring him to the front so that he can testify. Then I want to say this. Don't go anywhere until after we have listened to testimonies you know why in other places where the man of god has ministered we have seen a case where why testimonies are going on healings are taking place deliverance are taking place people are getting their own miracle right there confirmed but if you rush home how are you going to get your own this program is for you complete dominion and it's not going to be complete until tomorrow. And for you, it's not complete until you get your own miracle. So tonight, let nobody go anywhere. Just stay. Why we are saying check up, check up. You are already checking up yourself because, because your miracle is closer to you now. I can assure you this is a night of, uh, of joy and gladness and rejoicing in the presence of the Lord. The man of God has assured us the anointing power of God is present and you will be a recipient of that miracle tonight by the grace of God. Counsel us. I'm waiting for you. Signal to me. If you have finished the uh, taking of all the names, just signal to me. I'm waiting for you. Give me a signal that you have already completed the assignment. Please check the telephone number 
11 digits, 11 digits. Check it very well. If it is 10, it's not complete. If it is 12, it is wrong. It must be 11 digits. Except the R234, then it will be 10 digits plus 234. So check it very well. Counselors, I'm waiting for you, supervisors. From my right hand side here, have you finished there? I'm still waiting to see the signal. In the middle here, far back there, at, at the Yoruba station, wave your hand at me if you are finished. You can see my hand here, wave your own. So I can know you are finished. At the language section there, the same thing. Check up, finish up, and let us move forward now. And I know your miracle is very near you, but be praying now. Begin to tell God. Mention your problem. Mention your difficulty. Mention the challenge you are facing. And tell God that tonight is my night. Begin to pray in readiness. Supervisors who are waiting for you, signal to me you have concluded the, the accreditation very quickly. Those on my left hand side here, I'm waiting to see your hand. Supervisors, please indicate very quickly that you are true with the, with the counseling. Their name, their address, their telephone number. And those of you have, who have decided tonight for Christ, don't, don't forget tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the building across the road there, the cream uh, upstairs there, there you can call, you need to come there for special banquet with all those who have given their life to christ something special is waiting for you there supervisors i have not seen any any signal that you are through please quickly if i cannot see your hand come nearer and wave your hand to me from the middle whole row here i know there are many people tonight all the same we should do a thorough job this side Please quickly indicate. Anybody on this side? Can, uh, supervisor, whether you are, you are finished? In the middle here, at the back there. Okay, I've, I've seen there in the middle. You are finished there. How about this side? Okay, wonderful. At the far, at the far end there, are you through there? Are you through there? Are you through there at the far end by my left? Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The man of God is ready now with the power of God to touch you tonight. Tonight, the blind will see. Amen. If you can stand up, please stand up. The time of healing. The time of wellness. The time of wholeness in your life. Jesus Christ. The same. Yesterday. Today. Tell me. And forever. He did it in the past. He's doing it today. He'll confirm it in your life. Every form of sickness will vanish away. Every disease will vanish away. Every infirmity will vanish away. And all those oppressions of the enemy in your body, all those manipulations of the enemy in your body, today the Lord will put an end to it. Look at yourself now. Those evil things that you see today, you will not see them anymore in Jesus' name. In the head, in the throat, in your body, in your bone, every part of your body, the Lord is ready for you now. A miracle is coming your way. Healing is coming your way. Deliverance is coming your way. As you believe, 
after the final amen you confess with your mouth you believe in your heart and you will see your manifestation yeah. i will see my manifestation yeah. testimony there testimony there yeah. testimony there yeah. and the lord will confirm your healing tonight your miracle tonight in jesus name lay your hand where you have the challenge or the problem and raise up the other hand with great expectation that what he has said he will perform and when you hear that final amen the miracle is ready there with you it's ready for you now ready for you now get ready father in jesus name we thank you tonight because we have faith in you trust in you confidence in you that what you have promised we are persuaded you are able also to do and therefore lord i pray you spot out everyone needing a miracle that needs a healing that needs deliverance effect it and perform it in everyone tonight in jesus name the big problem madness insanity demonic possession i command you come out in jesus name every form of swelling in your body goiter fibroid elephantiasis and yeah i command right now swelling come out in jesus name weakness of the body tiredness in the body and respiratory problem lord i pray here and every other place touch them heal them now in jesus name that pile i command be healed now in jesus name kidney problem be healed in jesus name and all the lungs that have that problem i pray the water that is inside there lord i pray you dry up the water there now in jesus name i pray lord the arthritis and the pain of arthritis i pray you clear everything away touch them now the joints that are painful lord i pray touch them heal them in jesus name that short leg in the name of the lord jesus grow out right now paralysis be healed in jesus name stroke be healed in jesus name back pain you can't bend you can't rise up again i pray the lord will touch you now be healed in jesus name incurable disease that is said in the hospital there's nothing that can be done and maybe they even give you the time when you will pack and then go i pray the lord will reverse everything i pray lord incurable disease will be healed right now touch them turn their lives around heal them in jesus name i pray lord whatever the problem whatever the situation everywhere to my right to my front to the back to the front there and to the left and over the radio over the television online everywhere power manifestation power demonstration and the operation of the gifts of the lord in their lives in jesus name for everyone as we open our eyes now those blind eyes will see the deaf will hear the dog will speak confirm it in every life lord confirm it in every life lord confirm it in every life and let there be testimony for that person for that person for that person even now in jesus name it is done it is done for you in you on your body 
it is confirmed in Jesus name Lord we thank you we now have testimony for everyone in Jesus name I pray